Welcome back to the Titanium Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time I'm going to talk to you about the McFans Toys Rocky. Um, before we get into talking about the name of this guy, I want to say this is a viewer submitted idea because when I made my collection video, I asked, What figures would you like me to talk about? and that was the viewer submitted and I would like to do a few more because I always have at any given point you know a dozen uh, topics I'm working on and 50 figures and so if I could narrow it down to what people are interested in I start looking around and I see oh there's not a good representation of this particular figure so that makes me say great idea so I'm gonna be on it now with that being said if you do have an idea for a video Feel free to submit it to my channel. Moving into this, the name is Rocky, spelled R-O-C-K-E. Now, is that like Rocky Balboa? Rocky Rude Ice Cream? Rocky Rude? Rocky and Bullwinkle? Or the Rocky Mountains? Or is it just pronounced Rock? Let me know in the comments if you think it's pronounced Rocky or Rock. But this figure here is actually the only representation we have of Gears in the Legends line. And I've got to say, it's the first, it's good, it's not great, and it has its pluses, 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 and its minuses. So let's get right into this and let's do a quick comparison with the G1. So I'm going to compare this thing to the G1 for two reasons. Number one is that I'm not going to transform my bad cube one because I'm not a freaking idiot. Man, that bad cube one is bad for transformation. It's bad looking, like awesome, like Michael Jackson bad looking. But we're going to get into that in a little bit. But I'm not going to transform that back into this mode. Now, you can see the size difference. If you don't know what the 30-year-old figure looks like, then just go ahead and go to your local Walmart and check this thing on clearance and you can see what size it is. This one is on clearance at Walmart right now for like five bucks. So let's go ahead and get into transforming this guy. And I wanna say that you've got the gun storage up top so we can pop that off. You also have gun storage down below. Now, I didn't see this anywhere. I just said, there's gotta be a place to store it. And when you store it in his hand and move it sideways, you know, where he's got it, it clears and it rolls. So, let's take that out. Uh, how about we just leave that in there? That thing's in there, good. So, it just transforms almost exactly the same. Actually, let's just transform this guy. You move the legs to the bottom, right? And you move the arms out, and there is that guy. In a way. In a nutshell. Move it up, move it up. All right, there he is. Now, this guy here, it's almost the same. You move the legs to the bottom, just the same. And then you fold this wheel back, and then the whole assembly, you fold it back. Same here, fold that back, and the wheel back. And you got the legs. So it's very simplistic. You break the arms loose, you bring them down, and you make the legs. Now, my copy has a really loose right arm. That's loose, and it doesn't want to stay up all the way. But it is what it is, and there you go. So. What was that? 22 second transformation. I mean, if you like a fast transformation, there it is. All right, so this guy, he looks, you can tell it's gears. He looks pretty good. His head moves back and forth, but that's it. Just back and forth, which is pretty much all you can expect. The arms have no range at all. The, the shoulders, no range whatsoever. The wheels don't tuck away at all. And the elbow is, that's just it. That's the elbow you get. That's all you get. That is, okay, that's Paul. I don't like that. I would like at least one more 
fold on both of that to make the leg, the, the arms smaller. The legs on the other hand are perfect. In fact, I wouldn't change the legs at all. I think that what they did with the legs, hiding the wheels on the inside and then making them smaller, I would definitely say the legs are perfect. And so with that, the arms are the fail. But if you look at it overall, it's legends and legends always get a pass. And I think this figure is good, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit big. So let's do some comparisons. Okay, so let's get a few comparisons in here and I wanna show you size. Now, as you can see, uh, I actually filmed all these comparisons with his torso slightly raised like that. And so that gives you, a, when it comes to legends, that's a big difference. And so uh, with that, I push it all the way back in and I'm gonna have to reshoot all this. So. But it's very important because when you're looking at legends, that little like fraction of an inch, half an inch, quarter of an inch can make a huge difference in the look. So starting with the left, this is the Toy World Whiskey Jack. And I, I still think that like Toy World and New Age are real close in scale, which I actually haven't gotten any New Age stuff yet, I plan to. But looking at this, he's too big for that. So he's too big for that he definitely will not fit in with your Legends Minus. And right next to Magic Square, I mean, I, I can, well, that's not Magic Square, actually, I'm sorry, that is uh, the McFans toys. And I do feel like he's a bit big for the McFans toys, but when it, like I said, you can kind of get a pass on it. With, in the Legends scale, all on a shelf together, they look good. And if you kind of, some people can throw scale out the window, some people have to stick to it on a very rigid chart and graph and all that stuff, so. And then uh, wanna show you more of the mini bots from sort of this company, Hot Soldiers. So I even think he's a little big compared to Hound, but I, I can live with it. I can live with it because like the top of this is still higher than the top of that, but the heads aren't quite level. But I mean, we're, we're grabbing at straws and we're, you know, we're picking at this, but I really like how they, you know, they did the, the wheels on that. Like we couldn't do the wheels like that on this Huffer. I mean, come on. Uh, I, I like, we're going in the right direction here. When, in some places. And then, you know, next to Bumblebee, I, I just think it looks good, look, it looks fine. And then of course, with Magnus in the back, which I like that Magnus, um, Hound is appropriately sized for all this, is a little bit bigger than these guys. And then Prime's still the biggest, uh, well, my Prime that I've got there. So that all works for me. Does it work for you? Okay, so what if you say, have a Masterpiece Collection and you don't wanna then 150 on the bad cute gears. How does it look with your masterpiece? Well, he still looks, no, he's too small. Like, like he's a bit big for legends, but nowhere near big enough for masterpiece. But I, I just thought about this because of the extension, like, like, hey, he's almost as tall as them. <laughs> I thought that was funny that you could do that. It's a, it's something that you could do. Here he is with the cute little G1 guy. And I do want to say that the G1 can't hold a gun, so this one wins. A lot of people talk about how toy inspired that the transformation is, and I have to say it is quite a bit toy inspired with the transformation. Um, very much so, like really it just took the toy transformation added a few more things to spice it up and improvements. And it is pretty cool. Bad Cubes Grump. Let's compare these two. Now, I gotta say that Grump is the best uh, MP version of gears we have. And so this is the only Legends version that we have. So looking at it, uh, let's go ahead and do a side view of them. And you're gonna see that uh, from the side view, the, you're already gonna see the backpack on the masterpiece cleans up uh, a little bit better. It's just a square instead of seeing the front of the truck. And I'm okay with that, I can live with that. The lower legs clean up almost identical except uh, you have actual articulated feet 
on gears on on the bad cube one there's no like there's no ankle rocker or anything going on with this guy so you don't have that but but anyhow just checking him out from all angles and he looks pretty good i mean aside from the arms being chunky looks pretty good uh bad cube still wins of course uh the transformation on the other hand is nowhere near as fun on the bad cube you could almost get them the same height. Uh, yeah. Gears on a diet. So McFans Toys delivers a pretty decent figure. Uh, I, I think the only gears you could get for the Legends collection, and he's not the best figure in Legends. He's not the worst figure in Legends. And I think that there may be another company take a stab at it down the road like Magic Square. But for now, he looks good. He fits the part. Uh, aside from him being a little bit too big, he is on the Legends Plus side. Uh, I like him, I'm happy with him, and I'm really not searching for another. Gears, like, subscribe. Hadarium Hanger, out.